If you're looking to launch an online education business where you can sell your own info products, Skillplate could be a great option. Now, this is currently on a lifetime deal on AppSumo, starting at $79 for license tier one. What's nice about this deal is that you will get all of the features listed here regardless of which tier you get. Now, if you want more limits, you can go for a higher tier. The highest tier is tier five. Also take note that Skillplate does take a commission fee for the sales that you make on their platform. So it actually starts at 10% commission fee for tier one. But if you want the lowest commission taken from your sales, um, that would be tier five where they will take a uh, 5%. But if you don't want any commissions taken, you can grab the available add-on for a 0% commission fee for life for any tier you purchase. And if you want additional video storage hours, you can also grab this add-on as well, regardless of which tier you purchase. Now, this is the skill plate dashboard where you can get a high level overview of the performance of your online education business. So you could view your earnings, new accounts, enrollments, even recent transactions over the last 30 days. You can also set the date range right here as well. You could also drill down to all of the orders that were made. You could view the specific customer that made a purchase, when they made it, and exactly which course they purchased. Now this is the fun part because this is where you can create a new product. Now there's five different types of products you can create inside Skillplate. So an online course, you can bundle products together, create a community, a generic product, and even a digital download. I think most of us would be creating an online course. So you can manually create an online course or let AI generate the entire course for you. So I actually tried both ways. So this is the AI generated online course. So you basically give it a name and from that name, the AI will literally create all of these modules, including the lessons inside um, each of the uh, modules. Now, keep in mind that they only create the outline for you. So this is module one, introduction to affiliate copywriting. And lesson one is called the basics of affiliate marketing. Now, just looking at this course builder, the UI actually looks pretty nice and the UX is decent as well. There is a lot coming at you, so you do need to take your time to kind of digest everything and learn where everything is, okay? So the main thing you wanna do here is upload your lesson video. You can add your files here and everything you upload will be listed out in your available files section. You can also add a description for this lesson as well. And you also have the option to keep it as a draft if you are still working on it. Or if you're done, you can click on publish. And if you don't want it to necessarily be launched right now, you can select on coming soon where it will be unavailable and show as coming soon in the education portal. Or you could set this as drip content as well. So you can drip it on a specific date or after some days have passed. You can also add a lesson thumbnail and add relevant files and links over here. So it is nice that the AI does give you a head start in terms of the course layout, but at the same time, you do need to create the content. So you need to make sure you're comfortable teaching all of these lessons. I'm also noticing a few quirks here. So this particular module says getting started with GPT-3. Right now it's October of 2025 and uh, GPT-3 came out a while ago. So I think for this particular module and these lessons, um, you'll want to change it to, you know, GPT-5 or maybe another AI model that you might want to teach. Now, personally for me, I do want full control over the courses that I make. So I actually manually created uh, this course. So it is the Affiliate Copy GPT system. Now, if you wanna check out this course, learn more and enroll, I've included a link down in the description below. So what you are seeing right now is the general 
course settings. So this is the name, the subtitle, the product description. And what's nice about the product description is that you can edit this however you want to. You can even change the text color, even add images and video. And on the right are all of the nitty gritty features that I think make skill plate uh, very powerful. For example, you can set a pre-order sale. So this will allow you to begin selling immediately to generate revenue and enrollments while you're still in the process of creating your course. Now I think this is really nice because you can have people enroll and while you are building out the course, you can have your students provide you with feedback which will inform you on the specific modules and lessons you should be adding inside the course to make it as valuable as possible. You could even set a course uh, launch date. And what I really like is you can enforce the module order and lesson order and even video watching. So this will basically force your students to start from beginning to end. You even can force them to watch the entire video. So students must watch 90% of a video to advance. And here is the course uh, thumbnail and files and links that you want to add to your course library. You can also um, create a landing page to sell this course. And I really like how there's a variety of pricing options. You can offer a free course, sell it for a one-time fee, create installments, or even have a subscription model. So for this one, I did do a one-time fee. You can set the price right over here and name the price, including give it a plan description. And you can copy the direct payment link. So you can share this with anyone and they will go to this page where they can make a direct purchase. Now, if your course is expensive, you might want to offer um, installments. So you can set that up right over here and you do have full control. And if you want to do something like a monthly subscription, something like that, you also can set that up right over here as well. There's even a, a free trial, which could be helpful if you want people to try out your products first um, before they decide to you know, enroll monthly. Okay, now you saw the uh, direct uh, payment link, but you might want a page to sell the product so that's why I did turn on uh, the landing page. And here is the product uh, landing page. Overall, I think this is pretty uh, nicely laid out. You could view the three modules and the eight lessons inside um, each of these uh, modules, uh, my course description, and there's even a section about myself. And if they want to purchase, they would click on buy now and it'll take them to that you know, direct payment checkout page that you saw earlier. Now, when it comes to building out uh, the lessons, you can click into any of um, these lessons here, give it a title. This is my uh, lesson video, the lesson description. You can also include uh, resources, have a custom thumbnail specifically for this lesson, and set the availability and drip options if you'd like. Now, keep in mind that Skillplate hosts your video content. Okay, so same as what you saw before, you drag and drop your files here, and these are all of the videos um, that I've uploaded into uh, the platform. There's also um, images as well and documents, but for this specific lesson view, you could only view um, you know, the videos because you do need to upload a video um, inside your lesson. Now, Skillplate really tries to make it as easy for you to launch an entire online education business because you can launch an entire website, um, product pages, and landing pages. Now, the website is pretty robust, okay? So it's not just like a one-page website. So you have a page for all of your products, the about page, contact us page, thank you page. You can also create more pages as well. So this is uh, my homepage. It's a uh, very, very simple, nothing too crazy. I wanted something that doesn't really overwhelm um, the user and I really just want the focus to be on my one single product. But what's nice is you can upload your own logo for your online education business and people can learn more about this product. They can click on view uh, product and this is 
the product page. And I think overall it is a uh, really uh, nicely laid out. I do like how they lay out the course program with the three modules and the individual lessons, and they even tell you how long each lesson is. Now regarding the lessons, I want to show you how a student would consume the lessons inside uh, your course, okay? So this is the course view of my affiliate copy GPT system. So right now we are in uh, lesson one. It's titled Introduction, the 30 minute funnel. And this is the lesson uh, description here and you could play it. Welcome to the affiliate copy GPT system. So my goal for you over this entire course is very simple. Okay, so that's a little preview of uh, my lesson one. Now they try to make it really easy for students to learn and take notes. So you can add your notes on this right hand menu here. Now when you're done watching this lesson, you can click on next, which will take you to uh, lesson two. And this is my lesson two with the uh, lesson description right here. And I did add a note um, right here. So this is how the note uh, looks like. You can also edit it as well. And let me quickly play lesson two for you. Now, before we build our affiliate sales funnel copy, you need to understand the strategy behind this, okay? Because if you think about it, most affiliates, they end up failing. And this is uh, the third and final lesson in this module. So I set it up to where the students need to watch each lesson one by one. So right now, since I didn't watch the final third lesson in my first module, I cannot watch um, any lessons in the second or third module. So I need to go uh, one by one. Now, as a student, this is my products page. So I currently have access to uh, one product. Now, this one right here that I created with the AI, it says pre-order. So this is not available to purchase, but I did purchase this one. So if you go to uh, products, you could view it right here. And if you want to go into this product, just click on continue and you will be taken where you last left off. Now, editing any page on your website is uh, pretty easy. So you just go to edit and you can click anything you want to edit. Like say, for example, maybe I want to change um, this title here. You can just type whatever um, you want to. You can change, you know, the price size, and you can also change um, the text width, add a custom color, change the size of the button, so on and so forth. So basically everything that you can see in front of you, you can change. Now, what I think what makes Skillplate a true all-in-one online education portal is not only the website part, but also the notifications, specifically the email notifications. So you don't need your own email autoresponder. Skillplate has that integrated already. So you have a list of students' general emails. You have students' course emails. So you can send an email to a student when they enroll in a new course. And there's also students' bundle emails, community emails, general product emails, so on and so forth. So these um, emails are for students, but on the right-hand side, you have admin emails as well. So you can get updated whenever something happens. So payment success, payment failed, so on and so forth. You can also customize how the emails look like. So say for example, maybe you want to update students whenever a new course gets added, um, just click on edit. You can change the subject line and the email body copy. And there is a call to action button text right here as well. And these are all of the variables you can copy and then paste into the subject line or body copy. Now, this is an example of how an email would look like. So this is a subject line, my name, my logo, and the email body copy with the button right here. Now, if you want to offer promotions, you can create um, discounts, either a percentage or a fixed discount with tons of options right here. You can also have your own uh, referral program and set up tons of backend elements as well, like the branding, the very important payment. So you can connect your Stripe account. And that's the, one of the first things I did was 
connect my Stripe account. You can add your own custom domain. There's tracking, policies, and you can manage your subscription. Now I am having an issue with my custom domain. I tried adding this one right here, but for whatever reason, it wasn't connecting. It does say connected, but it's actually still, um, I think either propagating or something like that. I was um, chatting with support and they said with the top level uh, root domain, they're having an issue and they're hoping to have it fixed within a couple of days. So one thing that really impressed me and surprised me was the branding options. So you can upload two different logos, so a light theme and a dark theme, and even add your own favicon. And to better match your branding, you can also choose from a variety of fonts, and they do have a quite a bit, but unfortunately you can't upload your own fonts, but they do give you a nice list. You can make the portal landing page and buttons have like gradients, um, there's accent colors, and the portal theme can be light, dark, or have the user decide. So overall, I was pretty impressed with the feature set. Um, I built this um, within a day, and it was pretty easy to create everything. It's drag and drop. You can edit anything you want, and the end result uh, looks pretty polished.